courageous. Bold, empathetic. It takes all those three to make her an extraordinary person. I think one of the first ways I saw Krista as a collaborator and an industry leader was around the modernization of telefilm programs. She launched a pan-Canadian consultation using Zoom. When Krista took on the leadership of Telefilm Canada, one of the things she wanted to do most was crack open the existing method for funding uh, Canadian feature films. This was very controversial at the time. It was a time of racial reckoning and an organization rife with systemic racism. She was transparent about what she was finding within the organization and really willing to be collaborative. What she did for inclusion and for the fact of promoting diverse languages for telefilm, she actually got it done. In 2021, The Hollywood Reporter named Krista one of 20 most powerful women in global entertainment. I mean, it's about time. I just did a little dance. We were so excited. I thought, right on, there's no one more deserving. Because to be a bureaucrat and be a trailblazer and to break rules and have the courage to break them and to make new ones takes an extraordinary person. Krista, that you're receiving this special jury award of distinction is no surprise. I think you absolutely rock. On behalf of all of us at Telefilm Canada, thank you for creating a culture that welcomed change. You bolster my faith in the possibility of breaking down systemic barriers. You are the change. You led the organization and uh, Canada's film industry through that change with incredible wisdom and grace. Thank you.